say you're working on a stitch and glue project like a kayak or a boat or a Chesapeake Lake Craft teardrop camper like I am, here are a couple of tips while you are fiberglassing the stitch and glue construction. When you leave fiberglass and epoxy until it hardens, it's harder to trim off than when it's a bit green. So it's easier to get a nice clean cut right along the edge of the plywood if you wait four to six hours for the epoxy to set up, but don't wait until it's rock hard. Here you can see what I mean. This is about four and a half hours after we finished wetting out this fiberglass with the epoxy resin, and it's still quite flexible. Now that's a clean... Oh, my Satan farts. That scared me. Now that's a clean cut. A good sharp cut with the utility knife just running along the edge of the plywood, and there you go. And if I had left this blue tape on overnight, it would be very difficult to cut into the fiberglass and epoxy, but here, I just cut along the blue tape and peel it up. We did a little experiment. If you want to reuse a plastic mixing cup, then give us a shot. We spread the leftover epoxy all over the inside of the cup and let it harden. In this case, I left it for the same amount of time as the epoxy on the camper before I trimmed the fiberglass. It peels out easily and the cup is nice and clean for the next time. comparison, here is a cup that we scraped clean with a stirring stick. It's much harder to scrape off the hardened epoxy, so I'll just toss that one out. Leaving a stirring stick or a used brush in the epoxy makes it easy to pull off the solid disc of epoxy on the bottom of the cup. If you let it get too hard, you might try whacking the cup with a mallet to see if you can free up the epoxy without cracking the cup. Anyway, make sure you have enough mixing cups so you can throw them out if you need to. Using chip brushes to brush on the epoxy, you may find they work better if you trim them short. This leaves the bristles stiffer and it makes it easier to push the bubbles out of the fiberglass. Make sure you get the wide hobby sticks that are basically the same as tongue depressors that the doctor uses. You can order these on Amazon, but make sure you know what size you're getting. The popsicle stick size is a little too small for a quart size mixing cup. Another tip, if you get epoxy on something you want to clean off, like your hands or a pair of scissors, then you might try white vinegar. It makes a bit of a gummy mess, but it's better than leaving epoxy on your scissors. Dissolve the epoxy with white vinegar before it starts to harden, then wipe with paper towel and wash with soap. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.